talking about a problem we are dealing with at the moment, mm -hmm. how to keep it spicy with the bub like during pregnancy. I think we don't need any help. <laughs> <laughs> In our own experience, we don't really, we, we didn't have any, actually we had an increasing of um, our sexually activities. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not about if you have an increase or if you don't have an increase. It's about, is you have, you, you know, like you have uh, the bum in your way. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, no, you do not, never find like, oh, the time is the the more the time is growing, is always on your way. Yes, of course, but you adapt. You adapt. Yes, and how? That's why we are talking about ah, it. So we are <laughs> talking about how to adapt to the how, No, how to keep it spicy. Spice, you know, you want to bring in capana space, garlic, maybe a little bit. Too many, everything. <laughs> everything, <laughs> curry, um, pepperoncino, <laughs> everything in bed. Olive oil. Yeah, olive Shea oil butter. is useful. And also sugar butter. Yeah, it's just, it is obviously a little bit different. I don't know, maybe for a man not, but for a woman, you gaining weight like crazy. And then you have also the tummy in your face, like, I cannot even see my feet. Ah, your feet. No, if I just stand straight, I cannot see my feet. So you, you know, it's obviously in the way and you have to find creative ways how to make pasta. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about what we are talking about. Are we talking Create. about cooking? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try to think of if a mother is watching a video and the daughter is walking by in the kitchen, maybe does not get it. We are talking about how to keep it spicy. Okay, how to keep it spicy, the food. Yes, that we are eating, that we are eating during pregnancy and how to okay. keep it spicy when okay. we are making pasta. Uh, okay, good. So, I'm more like a straightforward guy. <laughs> I don't like to talk in code. Okay, good. I Go. You have to learn because you have a baby on the way, and soon we'll be definitely talking in, in, in codes in here. In code. So, yes. let's go make pasta, uh, and the child is going to be. Uh, I'm coming mama. with it! <laughs> no, uh, the kitchen is on the other side of the house. <laughs> No, we're going to order pasta. Oh, the shop is also on the other side. Of I feel like, as a woman, you know, you wanted to sexy lingeries and all these things, right? Mm -hmm. And with a tummy, I cannot fit in any of my lingeries. Like, mm -hmm. I literally cannot. And then, to make matters worse, not only that I'm pregnant, we are in quarantine. Like, you cannot check in a hotel in a nice romantic place or anything like that. So... I mean, I think you can go pretty classical, a little bit of candle, music, you cannot drink, that's of course. <laughs> yeah, you cannot you, drink. You need, you need to remove any kind of beverage, apart from, I don't know, <laughs> alcohol-free beer. Alcohol-free beer. Yeah, but I think, you know, there are always, you can't do things like before. Yeah. Absolutely not. I mean, I, did, I would say at the beginning there is not much of a difference until at the, beginning, the we're not at fourth the beginning. or five month is already like it's kind of normal. There is no, it's like you you are getting a little bit of weight, but that's a little right. bit again, like ten kilos. <laughs> I'm th you know like the wheelbarrow position. Let me think. No, I don't know about the wheelbarrow position. No, are you serious? Or you know. Of course that I do know. Yeah, I think well, that's one of the positions that you can Because see. also, La Cariola is, is the wheelbarrow <laughs> in <laughs> Italian. Yeah. It doesn't sound romantic, does it? No. <laughs> also wheelbarrow, it doesn't sound romantic at all. <laughs> no. Okay. okay, I think obviously certain things have to go. Like missionary, you can't do that. But I think everything that involves spooning is okay. Spooning, yes. Yes, everything that involves spooning is okay. So uh, now we need also to code all the sex position. Uh, for example, wheelbarrow, what would be wheelbarrow? It's already well coded. Um, do you think 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, no. seriously, if you're just talking about a wheelbarrow, what kind of child would I say what you're talking about? <laughs> that is true. It's coded enough. <laughs> okay, and talking about doggy. <laughs> oh, the dog position. No, is it from that? Is it really the meaning of this position is from? Is is, is that the dogs make uh, make it from that position? I mean, almost all animals make it from that position. I never thought of it that way though, but now when you're discussing it, I'm thinking, oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Anything that is a little bit distant and that you have space of uh, for maneuvering and to put the tummy. Things, I always say, scooping. Scooping? Scooping or oh, spooning, uh, sorry. Scooping. Yes. <laughs> Sco- scooping the tummy <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Yes. Or scooping. Um. I think also important is this is difficult. I have to speak from a woman perspective. It is, I think, difficult for a woman because maybe during pregnancy you feel a little more active, mm-hmm. your mind, but your body is in a different stage. Mm-hmm. You get easily exhausted. Have more free free time to rest okay. and remain energetic. Otherwise, you are always super exhausted. So I think it's just one of those method I think for me works. Make sure you're well rested. You have enough time to rest during the day for you to find time to obviously spice it up with your body. Okay, let's talk about uh, common uh, things that uh, about uh, sex and pregnancy. Do you, have you increased about, uh, have you noticed that you have increased your desire, your desire of having sex is increased? Yes. Now I don't know if that has to do with pregnancy or it has to do with quarantine. Or both. Oh. <laughs> that is the positive part of it because you have like you're always at home like you have a little bit more free time than what you would have if you would go to work and then you're pregnant yes that is positive positive and and then that on its own it make it already spicy during pregnancy but the other side of it you're super exhausted especially as soon as you enter the second trimester with the with the time you're really getting in the way then you get really excited, like uh, tired. Like you are, you are excited, but you get tired really easily no. during making pasta, during the making of No, pasta. it's not, uh, no, that's not what I'm talking about. It's not about only during that, but it's like, you know, like uh, second trimester. Like energy level throughout the day is really low. Have you seen that my legs, for example, are always swollen? Yeah. So I always need to rest more with my legs elevated. So you feel oh most of the time exhausted and I think that's important that I take time off to relax to make sure that I'm energetic during the day. Maybe you do yoga session also really help to make sure that you're energetic mm-hmm. and you remain flexible. Imagine if you're not flexible. Yeah. Tell me. And then you have a tummy <laughs> and you can <laughs> No, yes, no, flexibility no. is important. So keep, you know, still doing yoga, Pilates, few moves when possible. Oh, oh, I cannot really stretch so much. No, of course you cannot. You don't have space for stretching. <laughs> that is true. From a male perspective, I should say that, yeah, I, I like. There was a time, especially at the beginning, that I like. I was kind of scared. Because I was thinking about the time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that is really weird. That, that, is, that is weird, but that is in your thoughts. When you are having sex and you are pregnant, it's in your thought. Like, uh, am I hurting the child? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, yes, I had also some concern, but... I, oh, I asked the, the gynecologist, I was like, no, everything is fine. Mm-hmm. Then I read up, because I know from some, I think also from some YouTubers that I follow, that sometimes when you are overdue, like, you know, maybe you go a little bit a day or two or a few days after. Did the, you date? Yeah. Then they say, no, one of the things you can do and have more intimates at home, for, Meaning for you to induce, pasta. yes, to induce labor. But I'm thinking, I don't know how active is a is a woman at and who is nine months pregnant and the, the time is definitely now in the way mm-hmm. from either direction i don't know even if uh, yeah 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 so i i yeah but i think at that point <laughs> the only things you can do is just like on the bed on the side and do sp- another way to spice it up yeah 
why you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Because this is, with the time in the way it's difficult to make pasta, pasta everywhere else in the house, it's always to have, you know, I think for me essential aromatherapy helps to make sure that the bedroom so smells the, different every now and then. So environment, uh, it's good. Like, make sure that the lighting is good, music, background. Light, yes, lighting is, is important. Yeah, because you have only one space where you're confined to where you feel comfortable is now the bedroom. Yeah. Everywhere else where you need it, energy, you have definitely get it up in the way. So aromatherapy, make sure the room is smelling different. Make sure you have different lighting. Mm -hmm. If possible, I mean, it's it's one simple bar from Amazon and you can change lights from time to time. Okay. You know, so. Oil massage, massaging. That too should be in, in, in our case, like, um, you're using shea butter and buttering you, but the problem, uh, you have to be careful with the blanket because they get dirty. And yeah, all really but easy. That's, that's not a problem. That, you can throw them in the washing machine anytime, it's not a problem. Thinking what else? Also, I think if you just, I find that when you are constricted, like you are confined only to a small space, and because you have quarantine, you can't check in hotels and mm -hmm. stuff. You also want to make sure that you scent, yes, perfume. You can change that a bit so you do not always smell the same mm -hmm. all the time. Okay. You know, like a lychee. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you know, like if you, if I'm always using. Uh, I don't know, some Chanel perfume. Okay. Maybe a little bit something else. It just helps change the tone and the mood okay, differently. So, so I think this is If awesome. I smell differently, you think about like, okay, maybe it's not the same lame <laughs> sex partner. That no! Doing Otherwise, exercise, you do exercise and the stretching before and after. <laughs> before <So>. and after. <laughs> Before and after, why after though? No, before, why before, before, and after? before, maybe would help. And then you are sweaty. Oh, you are get, going to get sweaty anyway. Ah, <laughs> yeah. so. uh, let's do, do yoga before. Mm -hmm. Okay, not a bad idea. I that's the oh, you do it while you are doing yoga. Anyway, the yoga. Sorry, yoga. <laughs> anyway. Mm, I don't see that happening. I'm thinking of a yoga position that might work. Now, if you if you have to look for a yoga position that might work while you're pregnant, mm -hmm. very acrobatic. So I think you're going to fall. Who? Me with the ah, tummy. Okay. So I think I'm going to fall. And, and I oh, those are all the concerns now that are in my mind that I didn't have before. Mm -hmm. Before I would try anything, any acrobatic, anything crazy. Yeah, yeah, but now okay. I think some of the things you just have to feel like, oh my, God, I have to make sure that I'm, I'm, I feel also safe. Okay. And have you noticed this, your balance as uh, Oh, absolutely. Decreased? I do not like. have to. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I like you, you. Yeah, exactly. I don't. It's weird though, but you know how many times you almost catch me falling also around the house, mm -hmm. even just standing? Yeah, I've seen you now like... Because you are always... You have to balance it out. Yeah, I always feel like... I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall, especially backward. Maybe we can try it on the ball. <coughs> okay. Okay. I have a bathing ball and Ali want to try making pasta on the ball, but I'm trying to imagine that is not keeping it spicy, that is like risking, <laughs> I don't know, it's no, like no. risking the... Of course, I have to be the one on the ball. Yes, the ball, ball. you also fall on the ball on your own, <laughs> so if I sit on you while on the ball, that is not spicing it, that is just really dangerous. Okay. You don't think so? I am thinking how can we not make it dangerous, maybe people everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much it. How do you feel? Ready I'm to spice ready. it up? I'm always ready to spice it up. Babe. <laughs> I always go around with like a little pepperoncino in my pocket. Uh, what? Why? 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 Are we still talking about the topic we started with or are we now really on the food? We are in the food. I'm confused. Me too. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys anyway no I cannot believe this you know people were saying 
they somebody was like, I miss, I'm going to miss Ale, but I'm now thinking when I'm filming a video with you, I feel just more confused. Yeah, because of course when you're by yourself, nobody is making you difficult question, you know, and nobody is asking you, just with your mind, yes. focus on the topic. Yes, that is true. Anyway guys, that was pretty much it. A very short Friday video from us today. If you enjoy this, give us a like. Anytime, leave a comment. How are you guys keeping it spicy? I would say if it was not in quarantine, my number one way of spicing it up is always do Whoa. as as many get a we can get away as we possible. Get away. Nice. Trust me, even last week I was checking hotels that are open. And mm. a couple in Berlin are actually open. However, you can only check in the hotel if you have a very strong reason why you are checking in. Anyways, mm -hmm. yeah guys, see you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao. I think this Bye. weekend I'm going to try to to film a vlog. Just a vlog that I, I wanted to do. Like a, just, I'm looking forward to a relaxed weekend because we are last weekend was a little bit too much. And then, yeah. Oh, I have to go. Ciao. Somebody's calling. Oh. Hello.